Okay, this is Raptor News, and today our topic is about the truth of Satan and his seed. So we heard the saying, and we keep hearing the saying, the white man is the devil. And so today we're going to prove that. And then once you prove the white man to be the devil, then you know what you should be doing. You should know. So Genesis 1.21 is where we're going to start. And God created the wells and every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind, and every winged fowl after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters and the seas, and let fowl multiply in the earth. And the evening and the morning were the fifth day. And God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle and creeping thing, and beast of the earth after its kind. So the beast of the earth is the Gentile. They were created before us. They are not human. It is what it says it is. The beast of the earth after his kind. And it was so. And God made the beast of the earth after his kind. And cattle after their kind. And everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind. And God saw that it was good. We're going to learn today, y'all. And as you see, the white men who are jinn, and I know people don't understand that. I don't give a damn how it's spelled. G-E-N or J-I-N-N. Jinn. They equal devils. You should not listen to the devils. Devils are tied with flesh was created first. Gentile meaning devils clothed with flesh with the look of a man but not man as we see in this verse. Ezekiel 1 number 5 Also out of the midst thereof came the likeness of four living creatures and this was their appearance. They had the likeness of man. So they look like man but they were beasts. They were creatures. They look like man but they were beasts. They were creatures. The Gentile got a hold of the Bible when he tried to confuse it all and make it stupid where you could never understand that who he was and you can never understand who you are, Hebrew, so that you will go to hell with his ass because he already knew he was doomed to hell, him and his father Satan, for disobeying God. The Gentiles who added confusion to the book don't want you to understand this and that is Gentiles were a wicked creation. How do we know they were evil? By this verse in Job. Job 26, 13. By his spirit he hath garnished the heavens. His hands has formed the crooked serpent, which we know to be the Gentile, which we know to be the devil, you know, Iblis, whatever you want to call him, we know it to be him. And we will find the serpent was a man-like beast who was created before us humans and could walk and talk and speak very intelligent. So he was the vicegerent that was supposed to be on earth to shed blood. That is not mankind. God made mankind upright. The Satans, the Gentiles are the vicegerent to shed blood. They want to put us all in one category so we'll think we all alike. Like they're trying to do in the test the New Testament. And they're trying to make you love the enemy so you can be deceived. You should never love the enemy. That was added to the Bible. And these beasts who were Gentile had a magnificent realm. Where, where they were multiplied and was furnished with water in abundance as stated in this verse. And like I said, they try to make it all confusing so you don't get it and understand. Because they were wizards. And you got to understand that about a Gentile. Ezekiel 31.3 Behold, the Assyrians was... A cedar in Lebanon with fair branches. So this is a nation of people. It's not really talking about a tree. But like I said, they want to make it very confusing. And with a shadowing shroud and of a an high stature. And his top was among the thick boughs. The waters made him great. The deep set him upon the high with her rivers running around his plants. So the, as long as he had water in abundance, he could eat and sent her little rivers uh, unto all the trees of the fields. Therefore his height was exalted above the trees of the field. So 
he was happy to be where he was I mean he was above something so Satan's and devils and Gentiles are arrogant creatures so the problem with the Gentile is he loved being exalted above and that's why that's in there he loved being exalted above look at the white man the first thing he's gonna say with his 896 racist white groups the hate black people the, the God's true people is that he's above you he's not he's a devil and he's taught this by his father Satan so he was above all the trees of the field and his balls were multiplied and his branches became long because of the multitude of the waters when he shot forth and this is the abominable tree now all the fowls of the heavens made their nest in his boughs so notice that he always mentioned the fowls of the heaven and the beasts of the field when he mentioned the Gentile beasts. And under his branches did all the beasts of the field bring forth their young. So all of these Gentiles were born under this tree by these waters. And under his shadow dwelt all the great nations. All what? All the great nations. Who? Beasts of the field. All the great nations. Key word, beast. Thus was he fair in his greatness. So they good looking in the length of his branches for his root was by great waters. The cedars in the garden of God could not hide him. The fir trees were not like his boughs and the chestnut trees were not like his branches nor any tree of the garden of God was like unto him in his beauty. So when the Gentile half a, 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 a child Watch out for the beautiful child, whether it's black, white, green, yellow, and brown. The, the deception is they come in all colors and all forms, and they can be born of us. So the first Gentile bo child born of a human was that of Cain, you know. And I guarantee you, these come out looking good, or they come out well endowed. This is, this is how you know Satan's kids. Because why? God made them like that to deceive you. So that you can be sexually immoral or you could worship and idolize the way that they look. You have to understand that. So that's why God is putting in there his beauty. I have made him fair by the multitudes. And we already know the multitudes, the multitude of his branches is the multitudes. Multitudes and multitudes, it says in the end, in the valley of decision. That's when the Gentiles is going for their final war before God destroy them with the meteorites. So that all the trees of Edom that were in the garden of God envied him. And it wasn't trees. We are looked upon as trees. So a good tree brings upon a, about good fruit. You're not a tree. And then you're not weeds and you're not tares. So you kind of looking at, I mean, looked at as something that grows. Now, if you didn't study, you wouldn't know. So if you studied intensely every day like me, you would know what's going on. So if you notice everything was good, it didn't say it was no wars, there was no fighting in heaven, uh, it was nobody kicked out of heaven, it wasn't no hate, it wasn't no rage, it wasn't nothing, it was no it was no murders until God decided to make man. That was the problem with the Gentile. God decided to make man. So it looked like the Gentile, but it wasn't the Gentile because it had the spirit of God breathed into it which he made after the Gentile he made the man after the Gentiles so we already know the Gentiles was there uh, and uh, doing good and a greatness you know exalting themselves exalting themselves and then we we notice that Lucifer exalted himself above everything that's called God right so we know this so we know who Lucifer is it's a white man which he made after the Gentile meaning gin clothed with flesh having the appearance of man so let's take a look at what happened when God formed man Genesis 1 26 and God said let us make man in our image after our likeness which is just the spirit and let them have dominion over the fish this is the problem people of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth that's where the Gentile was so we got dominion over all the earth that's where the Gentile was 
and over every creeping thing upon the earth. Everything. So the beast of the field is always known as a creeping thing. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply like he told the Jinn, the Gentiles, and replenish the earth and subdue it. Subdue it. I mean, have it under your control. Have the earth under your control. And have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. So watch this. We go back up to here again. When it was just Jinn, and they were the multitudes, and it was great, and, and, and you know, they was in the garden, you know, and they was exalted. They had a problem with that, y'all. Now, the problem started in the, in the Gentiles, or with the Gentiles, arrogant head, when God gave his new creation men dominion over the beasts of the field. Over every living thing that moveth upon the earth, he gave it dominion. And, and watch this, and to subdue it. That's why he keep putting the Gentile under your control in the Old Testament. So, the wicked Gentiles looked like, who looked like men said, So let's take a look at the word uh, dominion. Let's, let's, let's study the word dominion. Dominion definition, sovereignty, control, supremacy, dominance, in this case, over Gentiles. Dominance over Gentiles. They can't stand that today. They're trying to hold on to this little power that they got, ain't they? So as we read, so we know that the devil was in the garden, him and his nations, before we was even created. So as we read, we understand Satan was very angry at God. For the creation of men. And went against him to attack his new creation man. How do we know that? Because he did it. That's how we know. Having the aim from that point on. To bring about the fall of man. From grace. By making him ungrateful. For his position of dominance. And God's mercy. God had mercy on man. And gave him dominance over the earth. And his weapon of choice. Was our gullibility. We were a new creation, so we didn't know. We knew, but we didn't understand. Meaning not, they said, my people are destroyed because of lack of wisdom. Gullibility, we don't understand things. Meaning not truly understanding that the only voice we were supposed to listen to was God himself. And that's why it states all through the Old Testament and the New Testament to just follow the voice of God. The ones who are going to uh, be saved in the end is the one who can hear the commands of God. The same thing is happening in the church today. So Satan went on the attack. Why? You might ask. You see, Satan's downfall was arrogance and pride. Remember it said he was exalted? So he liked that position of being exalted above the trees, which mean above the earth. So when you stepped on the scene, you took that exaltation away from him. You took the pride away from him. And God already knew Satan was prideful. And it, it wasn't for Satan to be prideful up in Eden, in heaven, in the kingdom. And the inability to understand that God was in control, not him. The same is with his descendants today, the Gentile, Edom. Edom, Edomites, Esau's children, uh, Cain's children, and the descendants of the Jinn. Jinn, it says, 3 1. Now, the serpent was more crafty than any beast. So the white man is slicker than the beast of the, uh, the any animal. Because remember, he wasn't a man, he, he was just a beast of the field which the Lord God had made and he said to the woman indeed has God said you shall not eat from any tree of the garden so he would twist the, twist the words and that, like I said the Gentiles the devils are word wizards so with a twist of words he got you suckered into a conversation with him 
the, you say, wait a minute, no, the one from the the, the middle of the garden, no, it all ain't all the trees alike? No, see, God just didn't want you to become angels. He wanted you to be ungrateful for the favors that God bestowed upon you. So, how do we know the serpent was a Gentile looking man? Well, from reading these verses of the prophet speaking to the demonoid humans. Matthew 12, 34, O generation of vipers. Again, the serpent was more crafty than any other beast. You generation of vipers, snakes, serpents, same thing. How can you be evil? See, I said it was an evil creation and speak good things. So they always trying to tell you something like they come as your sincere advisor and your friend. For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Luke 3, 7. Then said he to the multitude. So you heard that word multitude up there. In the creation of the beast, the jinn, the devils, the white man. That came forth to be baptized of him. And the problem with us saying white man is that we confuse him with a man. And so we are not to be deceived by the beast. And that's revelations. O generation of vipers, who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Because they brought about our downfall, they all was doomed to hell. Anybody who was involved in that. Matthew 23, 33. You serpents. You generation of vipers. Now the serpent was more crafty than any beast. So we know right here you're talking to white men. And we know right here now, he was talking to white men who was created before us. You know, but our beasts. How can you escape the damnation of hell? And who was going to hell in Revelations? The beast and the false prophet Paul and all the ones that the devil deceived. So the devil and all his descendants. So we now know that the Bible was not speaking of a literal snake but of a snake-like action. Not a literal snake, but a snake-like action. Like a snake slicks up to you, crawls on his belly. He eases up to you. You don't even see the snake. So even today we call betrayers snakes. So let's continue with this fall from grace. Genesis 3, 2. And the woman said unto the servant, We may eat the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the trees which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, so we always listen to God, we don't listen to Paul, we don't listen to Luke, Matthew, John, all of these could be devils and deceivers, we don't know, you gotta test the spirit, can't listen to Paul at all, we already know, we tested that spirit, he's a devil, you shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, just like you can't touch the unclean thing, you can't touch the, un the Gentile now, it's unclean, lest you die. That you die with the Gentile. And the serpent said unto the woman, You shall surely not die. For God does know that in the days you eat thereof, he's trying to make you ungrateful for what God had already gave you. Then your eyes shall be open, and you shall be as gods. He always trying to make you higher than what you are. He's trying to make you uh, exult like he, him. Because that's what he want to be. And he's still pumping that to the day. Y'all, you the God, black man. You the gods from e e that Egyptology bullshit. Knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food. And that it was pleasant to the eye. It looked good. Now what was the tree act in actuality? You know what I mean? It was pleasant to the eyes, and that the tree was to be desired to make one wise. She took of the fruit thereof, and did eat, and gave also to her husband with her, and he did eat. And the eyes of both of them was open, and they knew they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together, and made themselves aprons. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden, and that's what's going to happen now. We're going to hear the voice of the Lord coming, so what was before is going to happen again. We've been deceived by the Bible. We've been deceived by the false Pauls of Tarsus and those infiltrators in the Roman Catholic Church. We've been deceived by the nations. We've been deceived by the white man. Still being deceived and can't get over it. In the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves. 
So what are people gonna do in the end? They 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 building bomb shelters and then caves and everything. They trying to hide themselves. They trying to see if they can go to a different planet, literally, from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. And the Lord called unto Adam. Did he say Eve? No, because Adam is the head. Adam was created first. Adam should have known better. Adam should have uh, admonished his wife. And that's why he wants us to admonish each other when we do something wrong and listen to these beasts and Satan. Because I was naked and I hid myself. And he said, who told you you was naked? I already know that damn devil did that. Has thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded thee that thou should not eat? Did you do that? So watch this. Now following them commandments again, huh? And the man said, the woman gave to me she I mean the woman who you gave to me she gave me of the tree and I did eat and so blame and the Lord so there wasn't no blaming when you was uh, doing what was right in the garden it's when you defy God now and you're looking you scared you hiding you blaming and you naked and the sermon, serpent and the, and the Lord said unto the woman what is it that you have done and the woman said the serpent beguiled me it's some kind of lust and some kind of desire. It could even be sexual. And I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the serpent. Because you have done this. You are cursed. Above all the cattle. I believe it's below. I think they added that. And above every beast of the field. And watch this. Above every beast of the field. These devils. These Gentiles. The white man. As he want to call himself. The pink man. And upon thy belly shalt thou go out. So he was sub subtle. Right? You know. And watch this. If he was a snake in the first place, then he would have came in on his belly. Thou art cursed above all the cattle, and above all the beasts of the field, and above and and, and upon thy belly shalt thou go out in the dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. So do you know in the end they're gonna be licking the dust off our feet, the Gentiles? Yes, it, it's it's stated in the Bible. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman. And between thy seed and hers. So it's just enmity between men, period. It shall bruise thy head and thou shalt bruise the hill. So he drove out the man. So he kicked the devil out, right? And then he casted us out as well. He drove out the man. And he placed that he placed at the east of the Garden of Eden. And he placed at the east of the Garden of Eden angels. And a flaming sword was turned away. To keep the way of the tree of life. So by deceit Satan brought about his own fall and the fall of man. That man would be ungrateful and disobey him by listening to this deceitful wicked beast Satan. So let's look at the word deceit. Deceit definition. Deceiving or misleading others. Dishonest. Untruthful. Untrust, untrustworthy so we know by deceit Satan brought about our fall and so right now it's happening again and I'm just trying to make y'all wake up before God destroyed this place where he come back on the garden and say what is it that you have done so God let us know that pride was why Satan took a fall in the garden because he believed he was greater than man when God placed us above him and the white man think he's greater than us you know and it's a problem with this beast and his his pride man it's a problem with him and so God tells us in Proverbs 16 18 pride goeth before destruction so we know that the nations is going to be destroyed and a haughty spirit before a fall so uh, Satan was arrogant and haughty Satan was arrogant and haughty and that's why it brought about his fall. In Proverbs 29, 23, a man's pride shall bring him low, but honor shall uphold the humble in, in spirit. So a man's pride, so when we get prideful, guess what? And we go above God's commandment, it brought about our fall as well. By listening to somebody who didn't, God didn't tell us to listen to. We're supposed to listen to nobody but God himself. We got to get that as a people. We want to listen to everybody. 
you know, and that's what the devil do. He he got so many people and so many. What do you think he wanted you to read all these books for? So you keep listening to people and you keep going astray. So you can never find your way in the garden. First John two sixteen. For all that is in the world, which we know the the Gentiles uh, rule the world. The lust of the flesh, we know that the Gentiles are in the flesh, and the lust of the eye and the pride of life is not of the Father. It's, it's Satan. But it is of this world. It's of Satan. So now we war against the, the Gentile seed. And, and, the, and, and of Satan. Who is helped by the devil. His father. So again. We not only warring against the Gentiles. The whites that we see. But that, that, that white man is being helped by the devil. With all of his uh, technology. The white man brought you under control with the gun. That's how he got you. With, with weaponry. And the white man is still holding you under control with weaponry. And pretty soon, no weapons formed against us will pros prosper, white man. Soon. So, Revelation 12, 17. Then the dragon was rough, and we know that's the devil, at the woman. You know. And went off to wage war against the rest of her offspring, those who kept God's commandments. So, you got... Abel listening to God and bringing him an offer, offering that's suitable and you got Cain wanting to bring God some garbage because he is Satan's seed. First one born is the seed of a devil. Genesis 4, 5. But unto Cain and to his offering he had no respect. So God didn't respect Cain's offering because he wanted to bring some crap. Here God, this is the leftovers or whatever I got. This is for you. Nah, you bring me the best. And Cain was very wroth, and his countenance fell. Genesis 4, 8. The devil's greatest weapon was his mouth, deceiving you. And Cain talked with Abel, his brother. And it came to pass, when they were in the field, that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and killed him, and murdered him, and murdered him. And so that's how much the devil and his offsprings hate you. Look at look, look at him shooting us dead on TV and everything else. Right in front of everybody, man. You know, like animals in the street. Like animals in the street. So when Cain was cast out like his father, the devil, he went and married and had children with the beast of the field. Because how and where would he find a wife that quick? He went and slept with the beast. He, he found one from the beast that was already on earth that obviously God was keeping us separate from even then because where was the beast at when they were uh, you know tending to whatever they were tending to Genesis 4 16 and Cain went out from the presence of the Lord and dwelt in the land of Nod and Nod is only going to appear one time in the Bible that I know and of east of Eden and that's where the garden was and Cain knew his wife Mm. And she conceived and bare Enoch. So I keep trying to say, a devil can bear somebody that can do something good. Because now it's, it, some of us is in them. And then a devil usually breed more canes, the Nephilim, the Gentiles. And remember the dragon was wroth at the woman that went to wage war against the rest of her offspring, those who kept God's commandments that's who he's going to wage war with he's friend with those who listen to Paul of Tarsus and now we ain't under the commandments which is a lie when Jesus said the only way to e obtain eternal life is to obey the commandments so we know the devil only wants to kill and cause trouble with those who keep the commandments of God because then we aren't deceived like Adam and Eve in the garden who didn't keep the command that's what God said didn't I command you, didn't I tell you to, to, that you weren't supposed to eat of this tree? Like Prophet Job, uh, Satan can cause a whole lot of host of problems for us. So he caused nothing but problems. God said, if you consider my servant Job, he caused nothing but problems for Job, but Job stuck with God. Even his wife said, curse him. You know what I mean? And he damn near lost his mind, but he, he, he stuck with God, and then God delivered him in the end. And that's what's happening. Job is is a uh, you know an example of what we going through as Hebrews right now a whole lot of hell 
you know, from Satan, who causing us poverty and a whole lot of grief and murder and tears. He causing us a lot of problems, but we're going to stick with God and we're going to get delivered in the end, you know, God willing. Then Satan, it, I mean, he caused him a whole host of problems for us, but he can't kill us. His authority is only over those who take him as a friend and worship him. How do you worship Satan? You listen to him. How do you worship the white man? You listen to him. God didn't give them no authority and nobody any authority for us to be listening to him. Then Satan can destroy you when you listen to him. And that's what he's been doing ever since. You got to know what the devil's trick is. Uh, once you listen to the devil, he has power over you. That's why they're always trying to get you to sign something. That's why they always want to get you into a contract. They always want you to be dealing with them as white people. You wonder what all these signatures and contracts is, is to keep you dealing with the devil. And that is what happened in Israel. God sent these beasts to kill and enslave us because we were ungrateful and disobedient to him. So the first verse is a warning and the second one actually happened. It was the actual event. Leviticus 26:22, And I will also send wild beasts among you, which is it's the Gentile, which shall rob you. So watch this. The wild beast going to come and pick our pockets? No. He shall rob you of your children. And the devil did what? He went to go wage war against the rest of our offsprings that kept the commandments. But this one, he going to rob you. Why? Because you listen to him and destroy your cattle and make you few in numbers. You know, the blacks are the minorities now. See, who made us like that? You know, all the millions of us that died coming here. The Gentile did. And your highways shall be desolate. So our place in Talarad, which is really the real eat the real uh Israel, is, is mowed down by the Gentile. Who does that but the devil? Luke twenty one twenty four. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all the nations. And Jerusalem shall be trotted down by the Gentiles, by the Jinn, the devils towed with flesh, until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. And people don't understand the time of the Gentiles. The Gentiles even try to deceive you with this, until the fulfillment of the Gentiles, like they're going to get something else good. Nah, they're going to get hellfire. And so watch this. The time of the Gentiles is the respite. God gave Satan. And so it says it in the book that the time of the, the Gentiles is the day that the dead are raised. You know, right at the end time. So in this end time, after they go to this war, that they time is up. So whenever they start this big ass war, they time ended. Deuteronomy 32, 23. I will heap mischief upon them, and I will spend mine arrows upon them, and they shall be burnt with hunger bullets and devour with burning heat and with bitter destruction and will also send the teeth of the beast upon them with the poison of the serpents notice when he's saying the beast that came upon us that that the heat mischief and devoured and took our land and destroyed it notice they said beast and serpents of the dust you know lucifer the sword without and the terror within and shall destroy both the young man and the virgin. So he went and he was wroth against the woman. The suckling also with the man of gray hairs. So they didn't give a damn for the young or the old. You know, and they term is coming up in a minute. And said, I will scatter them into the corners in the nations. And would make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. And so they took crafty counsel against us, you know, to make us uh, no more as a nation so we wouldn't even know who the hell we are Jeremiah 15 3 and 15 3 and I will appoint over him them four kinds and he's a four kind of beast Gentile beast says the Lord remember the, the beast has four heads and four nations the, the sword to slay and the dogs to tear and, and notice he said dogs Gentile dogs and the fowls of the heaven and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. So we now know that this beast ain't nothing but the white man. 
And we know that white man been here for a long damn time. So God sent us a strong message in the land of our captivity. Either we will be his servants or the slaves to the beasts of the field who got us kicked out of the garden by deceit. So we are warned not to listen to the Gentile, go around him, fellowship with him, or sleep with him. You shall not, blessed the man who, who don't walk in the counsel of the wicked. Of the wicked. The wicked is the one who destroyed Israel. Don't walk in the counsel of the wicked. Blessed is he. And I would not that you should have fellowship with these devils. The Gentiles sacrifice the devils. Why? Because they are devils. And he said, I would not that you should have fellowship with these devils. Or sleep with them. The Gentiles are impure. And so, let's, let's, let's read it. Ezekiel 44, 23. And they shall teach my people the difference, and that's me, between the holy, which is us, and the profane the ones with the spirit and those who are cursed and cause them to discern between the unclean which is the Gentile and the clean which is you because you have the spirit breathing to you that's why they mad Le Leviticus 18 24 and, and God put you above them defile not yourself in any of these things for in all these the Gentiles are unclean why because they beasts which I cast out before you beasts are unclean they're not human don't be deceived by the beast into thinking that they're human. Leviticus 15, 31, and we always, because why? They want to sound and act human, but they're not. Inside, they're ravenous wolves. They hate you, and they want you dead. And look what they did around the world. They came in as the pilgrims and everything else, and then what happened to the people? You must keep the Israelites separate from the things that make them unclean, so that they will not die in their uncleanliness for defiling my dwelling place, which is their body which is among them so in Isaiah 52 number 1 awake awake wake up Jerusalem wake up Hebrew put on thy strength O Zion put on thy beautiful garments O Jerusalem the holy city separate the holy from the profane for henceforth there shall shall no more come into thee screw you of the uncircumcised and the unclean no more no more of that you know Leviticus keeps saying you cannot lie with the beast and it ain't just talking about an, an animal animal like a dog you know or a cat it's talking about the Gentile which is another species another creation than us the Gentile nation Ephesians 5 number 5 for this you know that no whoremonger no unclean person, that's a Gentile. No Gentiles. The Gentiles are unclean. Let me go back there. For in all these things are unclean which I cast out. The Gentiles and all these things are unclean which I cast out. Why are you casting them out? He cast out the devil out of the garden. Who do you think he's talking about? He cast out Cain, didn't he? For this you know, know it, that no whoremonger, and, and what, is, what is Babylon? A whorish nation. Nor unclean person, what is that? Gentiles, you know. Nor covetous man, you know, who is an eyelater, has any inheritance in the kingdom of God. So I did a whole thing on there, how those who are born of the flesh, which is Gentiles, and they're born without the spirit, which make them not a man, they're a Gentile, so that a woman can produce a demon seed which is called a Gentile or a Nephilim and she can produce a man child and then the demon seed Cain is always going to war against the man child 2 Corinthians 6.17 Wherefore come out from among them and be you separate says the Lord and touch not the unclean thing and we know now it's talking about the Gentile and I will receive you Stop li living with them, liking them, loving them, and come out from among them. Be separate, and I will receive you. God will help us once you stop dealing with them. He said, among these Gentiles, these enemies, shalt thou have no ease. You ain't going to have no ease around them unless you become one of them, and then you're going to hell with them. Jeremiah 9.25 Behold, the days come, says the Lord, that I will punish all of them, which are circumcised with the uncircumcised. 
I'm going to punish them all. If you're with the uncircumcised, you're going to get punished. Because he told you. you got to listen to his voice. Come out from among them. Move away from their asses. You know, be you separate. God said it. Don't worry about how they feel about that. They're going to make you try to feel guilty for moving away from their wicked asses. When they move away from you all the time, you should be happy when they moved away from you. Because now you can do better. Because like I said again, or like the verse says in Deuteronomy, uh, your, your feet will never have any ease around the Gentile. Never. Never. You know, it's always going to be problems when you're around them. Because they're evil. So when God states to come out from among them, especially now that you know what and who they are, and that they are not your friends, and never was stated in Deut Deuteronomy 28:25. And you know, if the devil he put like a, like a stuttering thing on my voice, I don't stutter, but you know, it want to make me seem like I don't know what I'm talking about. So while I'm doing this, it's working with me. You know, it's trying. To, it's working against me. You know, and it's working the, with the computer. It's working YouTube. It works anything. So I don't put this message out clearly. Deuteronomy twenty-eight twenty-five: The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thy enemies. You shall go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them, and thou shalt be removed into all the kingdom of the earth. Who did that? Gentiles. These devils. Deuteronomy 26:68, And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So we got freed from the land of Egypt. And, and, and the Gentiles brought us right back to that land of captivity. By way whereof I spoke unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. So all those people over there pretending to be us. Are nothing but Gentiles that look black. And, they, and there you shall be sold unto your enemies. Who bought us black man? Enemies. They're going to say, this is hate speech. This is the book that they hate. They hate the truth of the book. So it's white people that's mad as hell at me for preaching the truth of the book. And they ain't white people. They devils. Because they want you to preach that Paul of Tarsus lie. Love your enemy. God didn't tell us to love our enemy. He told us to get the fuck away from them. For bondsmen and bondswomen, look what they did to your children. Look what they did to your men. Look what they did to your women. We ain't got straight ever since we dealt with this damn devil. So you Hebrews have to ask yourself, who would tear down the house of, of God of Israel and place abominable idols in his holiest of places? Who would make his holy land desolate, which was our homeland? And who would steal our resources, our gold and everything else, and the people from off the land and enslave them? Who would do that? The answer is only the devil, the Gentiles. Then how can they be your friends? So we should have never listen to the Gentiles in the garden because we got expelled out of there. Every, every time we, we, we deal with them, we get expelled and landed into misery. A hell is right underneath our feet. It's misery on earth. And follow the, following the Gentile nations, customs and idol worship and whoring got us expelled out of Israel, our home. And now we have one more chance to get it right and not to get deceived by the beast again in, in the Bible and receive the mark and the name of the false beast which is Christ who received the deadly wound and did live we know that's the beast now if we just turn back to the commandments you know didn't I tell you to listen to me says God he didn't tell you to listen to Satan neither did he tell you to listen to Eve and listen to and love our true Savior God he will turn all this around for us as stated in Deuteronomy 30, 1. And it shall come to pass when all these things come upon you, the blessings and the curse which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among the nations, these heathens, these Gentiles, whether the Lord thy God has driven you. We didn't want to go. And shall return unto the Lord thy God and obey his voice according to all that he command you today. Don't be deceived by Paul of Tarsus in the New Testament. Thou and thou children with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity and have compassion on you. And will return and gather thee from all the nations. Turn away from them in a false doctrine. Whether the Lord, whether the Lord thy God has scattered thee. And the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thy enemies. 
and upon them that hate thee which persecute you. So we know that's going on right damn now. Ecclesiastics 3.21 Who notice? So again, we have to stop being deceived by the beast and his image. The image of being a man. That's, that's we deceived by him. We keep calling him the white man. He's a white beast. But really is the devil and his seed. The one and only voice of God. That's what we're supposed to be listening to. And move the fuck away from the Gentiles like God intended in the first place. Or you will go to hell with them. So let's end with these verses. Ecclesiastic 3.21 Who knows the spirit of a man that goes upwards and the spirit of the beast that go downward? Why? For being deceivers. They go to hell. All those who are false, all liars, if you live in a false life, you won't even claim that you are the beast. That's why you're going to hell. Revelations 24 And I saw the throne, and they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them, and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded, beheaded for the witness of Jesus, and that's the real Jesus, and for the word of God, not the image of the beast which they made, the cracker on the cross, and which had not worshipped the beast, which had not worshipped the beast. How do you worship it again? I keep saying, you listening to the white man, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their forehead or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. Luke 10, 18, and he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. So he saw Satan fall from heaven like lightning. So in the end, he gonna bust hell wide open. That's where we get that, that saying at, bust hell wide open. He's going to bust hell wide open with his ass and, and, and all the whites with him. Ezekiel 31, 16. And I made the nations to shake at the sound of his fall so they know that there go your hero, there go your daddy, he just fell into hell when I cast him down into hell. With them that descend into the pit and all the trees of Eden, see, all of them and that whole tree that whole wicked tree, you know, the, the choice and the best of Lebanon. Notice it was that same place where all those Gentiles was being born. And all that drink the water shall be comforted in the neither parts of the earth. They also went down into hell with him unto them that be slain with the sword. So we know it's after that big war. And they that were his arm, which we know arm is just, watch this. Put a goddamn Y on it. His army. That dwelt under his shadow in the midst of the heathen. Where, where, where's all these devils and people going to hell? In the midst of the heathen. And he said if anybody circumcised. And, and is, is with, in the midst of the heathen. He going, you going down with him. You going down with him. Don't let him take you down with him. You know with some sad story. You know I wouldn't even be married to one. You got deceived into thinking you married a human. You know. That's, that's enough to annul the wedding or the marriage. Stop being deceived. To whom art thou thus like in glory and in greatness among the trees of Eden? Yet shalt thou be brought down with the trees of Eden unto the neither parts of the earth. And y'all see all these sinkholes opening up. Thou shalt lie in the midst of the uncircumcised. Where? In the midst of the uncircumcised. Where? With the heathen. Where? Fucking down in hell. This is Pharaoh and all his multitudes. This is Pharaoh ain't nothing but a Gentile. All the Gentile nations, whether black, green, yellow, and brown, ain't nothing but Gentiles, says the Lord God. In Revelation 20.10, And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are, and shall be tormented day and night forever. So what was the problem? Go back up to where the problem was. The problem was at the creation of mankind. And then what about the problem that brought about our fall? Because Satan was jealous of your position. And Satan still is. He mad because you Hebrew. He mad because he put you above the nation. He put you above the demonoid humans. He mad at that. And we got to stop being what? Gullible. Gullible and susceptible to his voice. How is he talking? Softly and hey, I'm your friend. No, that's not me. It is him, says God. And God said he sent you to the en enemy. What his face look like. 
And does his face look like the people who enslave you? Then he's your enemy. I don't care how he sound and how he act. Because Satan pretended to be their friend. And they sincere will wish or advisor is why they took his damn advice and once they took his advice over God's they fell from grace and once you keep taking his advice and worshiping the idols and copying off him in any way you fall from grace so Satan was already ungrateful to God Satan was already arrogant and haughty and guess what and he fell with his arrogant ass and still today his descendants is arrogant and haughty and so again black man and black woman you have dominion over the beast. You have dominion. You have sovereignty, control, supremacy, dominance over Gentiles. You know, accept your rightful position and know what he, I don't care how much hell he causing you. Know your position until your Lord come back. You know, and stay in your position and not get deceived by the beast. Let's wrap the news.